for joining us. This is a Worcester News Tonight update. I'm Olivia Lemon. A security app helps Worcester police arrest a man for breaking into a church earlier this week. Our Andy Madison shows us how one of the church members was able to monitor the man's every move using his cell phone. Charles Lima appeared in court Tuesday, charged with breaking into this church on Sunday. Officers uh, entered the church and uh, discovered a male in there by the rear staircase. According to the person who had called the police, uh, there had been a set of keys to the church that were stolen in a recent housebreak nearby. Officers found Lima with keys and a paint scraper. Concordia Lutheran Church was closed on Sunday, but someone on staff was alerted to the break-in on his phone. He had the security cameras that are stationed inside the church uh, logged into his phone, so he was able to get an alert and actually see on his phone the person inside the church uh, searching around. Lima faces several charges, including trespassing, malicious destruction of property, receiving stolen property, and breaking and entering. In a statement, a spokesperson for the church said, quote, We are relieved that this is over. This has been going on for a while, and our concern is to keep our children safe. A situation that is over thanks to the church's security system. We're happy to get there as quick as we did, and we're glad to get this guy while he's right inside the church. Keeping your church safe from intruders? There's an app for that. Andy Madison, Worcester News Tonight. Thank you, Andy. A Shrewsbury firefighter accused of inappropriately touching his children's teenage babysitter was released without bail after his arraignment today. Sean Bedowicz of Auburn is accused of indecent assault and battery on the 15-year-old girl in his home last month. Prosecutors say he made multiple inappropriate comments to her about her body and groped her. He is ordered to stay away and have no contact with the victim. Bedowicz has been a firefighter in Shrewsbury since March 2008. He is still on the job. Bedowicz is due back in court March 28th. A Worcester man faced a judge today in connection to his alleged six drunk driving offense. Auburn police say 41-year-old Scott Tatro of Worcester was found stopped in an industrial park not far from a hit and run accident on Route 20 in Auburn Sunday night. Police say Tatro told them that he hadn't had a license for the past 15 years, but kept driving because he didn't care. As police were booking Tatro, they discovered he had an outstanding arrest warrant. Tatro is due back in court on February 19th for a dangerousness hearing. A former Assumption College student charged with making a bomb threat on campus in 2011 was sentenced to three years probation in Worcester Superior Court today. 26-year-old Kevin Fords attracted widespread notoriety for expressing sympathy with a mass killer in Norway. The Shrewsbury man is ordered to stay away from the Assumption campus. Forts must undergo mental health and drug evaluations during his probation. He is ordered to stay drug and alcohol free and will undergo random drug testing. Police in Southbridge put this image on their Facebook page asking for your help in identifying this man. It's not clear why they are looking for him, but take a good look. If you do have some info information to pass along, contact Sturbridge Police. Well, what a difference a day makes. We are seeing rain instead of snow and much warmer temperatures. The conditions may not seem ideal for skiers and snowboarders. As our Patricia Nicholas reports, ski areas like Wachusett Mountain are taking a hit this winter. Local students enjoy their week off from school by hitting the slopes at Mount Wachusett. It's a little warmer. Uh, we had some really cold temperatures over the weekend, but snow is really, really nice. It's really soft and it's great for learning on and uh, we're having a really fun time. It wasn't cold as it was yesterday, so we thought it'd be a good idea to come and it's really nice out and the snow is really good, so it's really nice today. Mount Wachusett says the fluctuating weather is affecting business. They say this school vacation week is normally much busier. It's empty again. So the roller coaster continues. Uh, it's really frustrating because the snow's amazing and uh, there's no one sliding on it. Michelle Pepe drove from Sharon to Mount Wachusett to take her daughter snowboarding for the first time. She says the weather forecast should not affect people. Well, today I saw that it was going to be warm and rainy, but it doesn't even matter here. It's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's really not bothering us at all, and it's warm, and it's a great day to come out. Mount Wachusett says even when there isn't snow, they always have snow ready. 
Regardless of the temperature, skiers today say they are having fun and they are enjoying the smaller crowds. Come on and enjoy it. Doesn't matter what the weather conditions are as long as you're having fun. The weather's nice out here. It's not too cold and there's not there's barely any people here, so it's nice. Come out, bundle up, and just have fun. Don't worry if it's gonna be cold because you can never over bundle, never have enough stuff on. Well, February vacation is a busy time at the Ecotarium in Worcester. You may remember last year the museum was forced to close for a few weeks due to issues caused by winter storms. But as our Brittany Schaefer reports, the crowds have returned this year. The Ecotarium is a popular spot for school vacations, but last year a pipers caused the Science and Nature Museum to close for three weeks during February vacation. Last year the entire museum was frozen and unfortunately we were shut down not just for vacation week but for three weeks due to some issues related to the storm, but as you can hear, we're back and uh, have bounced back wonderfully. The damage caused by winter storms kept members like Christine Daspar and her children away. We didn't end up coming out. We were, I mean, we usually come out during every vacation, so it was pretty disappointing. This year, that has all been remedied. We've got our backup generator humming away, uh, ready to go um, if we have any issues again. This February vacation, Ecotarium President Joe Cox expects more than 1,000 people per day. The weather's just going to be perfect to come and explore indoors and outdoors at the Ecotarium. It's a school vacation week and we're trying to fill it in with the best activities possible. With temperatures much warmer today, Cox says visitors can have a better experience. Uh, colder weather, we were more likely to stay inside. Now that it's a bit warmer out, it's a bit easier to get the kids outside. Cox says he would rather have a winter like this year compared to last year. Definitely compared to last year and the weather we had last year, this is, this is positively tropical. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. Thank you, Brittany. The search continues for a missing 22 year old man from Harvard. Zachary Marr was last seen outside the Boston bar called the Bell in Hand just before 2 a.m. Saturday. His family says Marr was celebrating his birthday when he stepped outside to smoke a cigarette. He then texted one of his cousins saying he was not being allowed back inside and asked his party to leave with him. Workers at the bar denied that Marr was not let back in the bar. By the time his family went outside, he was nowhere to be found. Coming up, we'll get a check of the local forecast. Stay with us. I was a season ticket holder for 12 years. I was a big shot and I drank a lot of shots until I was carried out of the game by security. They had to carry me because I couldn't walk. That day I fell on the lady in front of me and her husband knocked me out cold. When I came to, I realized that alcohol was calling the plays. At Ad Care, I got the coaching I needed. I may have lost my season tickets, but I got back in the game of life. Don't be that guy. Call AdCare now. It's our Chevrolet President's Day sales event going on all month long here at Diamond and Auburn. With special factory incentives, there's never been a better time to buy. Right now, sign and drive a brand new Silverado Double Cab 4x4 for $179 a month or an all-wheel drive Equinox $189 a month, both with no money down. You'll receive complimentary oil changes, tie rotations, and batteries for as long as you own it. We're on Route 20 in Auburn and online at ChooseDiamond.com. There is only one sport that delivers action, danger, and edge of your seat excitement. It's the PBR Blue Death Tour, presented by Real Time Pain Relief. This crowd knows greatness when they see it. One night only, Saturday, February 20th at DCU Center. And best of all, tickets start at just $20. That's right, just $20. So what are you waiting for? Get your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Brought to you by Digital Federal Credit Union and Ram Trucks. If you've been hurt in a car accident, there are three things you need to know. First, don't sign anything from the insurance company until you talk to a lawyer. Second, on average, injured people with a lawyer get three and a half times more money than those who don't. And third, it won't cost you anything unless we get money for you. Don't stand alone against the big insurance companies. Call the law offices of Joseph J. Criglia, where you pay a lawyer only if you collect money. The 
overture begins, and you're transported to that legendary place of Broadway showmanship and show-stopping tap numbers. Come and meet those dancing feet. 42nd Street, Broadway song and dance extravaganza. Theater in Worcester, February 19th through the 21st. For tickets, call 877-571-SHOW or visit thehanovertheater.org. Can you see me? Because I feel like I'm invisible. Like if it weren't for the news, no one would think of this place. But here we have bright spirits and vivid dreams. If only the world could see. Welcome back. The temperatures are much warmer than yesterday, but the rain is certainly coming down today. P. Bouchard has a look at our local forecast. Quite a mild day today. We had a wild evening, though, with a lot of heavy rain moving through. The temperature soared, but not to record levels. This wild evening, with the howling wind and the intense rain, will settle out as we go into the evening. That's after about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Some spots near freezing by morning across central Mass, so keep that in mind. Everything kind of hardening up. However, it's not a sharp drop off. We're already getting into the backside of this weather system. Clearing will be next. I expect that to come in by midnight tonight as we scoot out that heavy rain and those downpours. A quieter uh, second half of the evening and a quiet start to tomorrow. I like the looks of it, sunshine to begin. And then we go into some clouds as we go into the afternoon hours and the evening hours as well. The temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but we should at least make freezing and then get into the upper 30s as we go through the afternoon. No big threats for any more storms for the remainder of the work week. And our temperatures, well, they'll fall back to about 30 or 28 even by morning. The gusts of wind this afternoon were something, though, up to 57 miles per hour across Warwick, Rhode Island, Fairhaven, Mass, 53 miles per hour. We were gusting close to 50 at times, even in Worcester, 51, 52. But now our wind gusts settling out at about 39 miles per hour, Pittsfield back to 33. What's happening is as the uh, heavy rain moves out, so do the winds and those collapse as we go on the backside of this weather system, although still breezy into the evening hours and even into tomorrow, northwest wind. High pressure comes in and keeps things quiet through tomorrow and gives us a pretty spectacular looking Thursday forecast too. A lot of sun in the forecast and also temperatures that are seasonably cold. As we find ourselves in the middle 30s and low 30s on Thursday. Tomorrow's highs in the upper 30s, partly sunny skies, the northwest wind at about 12 to 17 and then west-northwest about 14 to 18 by evening tomorrow. Lows tonight get back to about 28 degrees. There might be some slick spots first thing in the morning, but this is by morning, so we have all night to dry out the roads. This will not be a flash freeze. Things will not crash as we go into the late night hours. It's slowly settling back to near freezing. All right, Thursday 34, 36 on Friday, maybe a little light snow late in the day start cold the weekend has a warm-up for us and then next week we're watching another storm system this one snow or rain it's pretty sizable it's tracking along the coastline right now it seems to be a little bit too mild to stay all snow we'll keep our eyes on it have a good night worcester weather brought to you by berterra nissan of auburn that is our show for now tim mccone is back at 10. we hope you'll join us then i'm olivia lemon thank you for watching concerts you'll see all year. A show like no other. A rival from Sweden performing the music of ABBA. February 25th at the Hanover Theater. It's a rich man's world. One night, one stage, and the hits of ABBA. Tickets available now online at thehanovertheater.org or at the box office. Don't miss a rival from Sweden performing the music of ABBA. If you were injured in a car accident, would you call Joseph J. Cariglia? Absolutely. The insurance companies have lawyers on their side. You bet I want Joseph J. Cariglia on mine. Sure I would. Make one call, let them deal with all the hassles. It's a smart choice. You don't pay anything unless they win your case. If I were injured, I'd want all the help I could get, wouldn't you? Don't stand alone against the big insurance companies. Call the law offices of Joseph J. Cariglia.
It's our Chevrolet President's Day sales event going on all month long here at Diamond and Auburn. With special factory incentives, there's never been a better time to buy. Right now, sign and drive a brand new Silverado Double Cab 4x4 for $179 a month or an all-wheel drive Equinox $189 a month, both with no money down. You'll receive complimentary oil changes, tie rotations, and batteries for as long as you own it. We're on Route 20 in Auburn and online at ChooseDiamond.com. There is only one sport that delivers action, danger, and edge of your seat excitement. It's the PBR Blue Death Tour, presented by Real-Time Pain Relief. This crowd knows greatness when they see it. One night only, Saturday, February 20th at DCU Center. And best of all, tickets start at just $20. That's right, just 20 bucks. So what are you waiting for? Get your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Brought to you by Digital Federal Credit Union and Ram Trucks. I was a season ticket holder for 12 years. I was a big shot, and I drank a lot of shots until I was carried out of the game by security. They had to carry me because I couldn't walk. That day, I fell on the lady in front of me and her husband knocked me out cold. When I came to, I realized that alcohol was calling the plays. At Ad Care, I got the coaching I needed. I may have lost my season tickets, but I got back in the game of life. Don't be that guy. Call Ad Care now. If you have a loved one who needs assistance or suffers from dementia or Alzheimer's, they deserve care that is nothing less than extraordinary. Dodge Park Rest Home and the Oasis at Dodge Park provide a level of personal care in a premier setting that is unmatched. All-inclusive programs designed for those with memory impairment, a caring and licensed staff, and activity programs to stimulate the mind and body, maintain dignity and independence, all in our secure home-like environment. Schedule your tour at Dodge Park Rest Home and the Oasis at Dodge Park today.